What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here again. I just did a story about Jacob Roberts uh, doing a mall shooting spree, and now I'm talk going to talk about the the Sandy Hook story, elementary. And I thought it was kind of sad to hear that this guy named Ad, uh, what's his name, Adam Lazin Zina, went into a school and shot. 20 kids and probably like 6 adults well they keep changing numbers 20 kids and 8 adults like that's too many people to kill that's too many people that's dead they said well they saying it's like he was a dark and disturbed and deeply troubled boy from a wealthy family who unnerved his neighborhood and classmates massive murder Adam Lazena he was 20 years old was a ticking time bomb. People who knew him told the Daily News there was actually people that knew him said he was wrapped too tight. That they knew this boy was troubled. Like they say, watch out for them quiet ones because you know them quiet ones are the ones that's going to snap. And it's true. Uh, but they said this, uh, but the neighbors said was this was a deeply disturbed kid a family inside told the daily he considered having major issues with major issue he was subject to outbursts from what I recall he was a troubled kid yeah, this Adam Adam was friends and officials say that from the syndrome or personal disorder had a tutor mind he was uh, socially awkward and at times unsta unstable but but he was extremely bright he was smart the insider said he was look one he was like one of the real brainiac computer kind of kids it says a long time family said he has a condition where he couldn't feel pain a few years ago when he was uh, on the basketball team everybody had to be careful that he didn't fall because he could get hurt and not feel it said the friends the friend Adam had a long had a lot of mental problems he had a lot of mental problems they said he had strange behavior was well known among was well healed neighbors in in leafy Newtown, Connecticut. His civil resistance. Adam has been a weird kid since we was five. A neighbor and former classmate named Tim Delton wrote on Twitter as horrible as this was. I can't say I'm surprised. Burning hell, Adam. Damn. Like his friend said that that's kind of bad. It's just, but he knew he wasn't he wasn't surprised that it was gonna happen. He also seen a odd figure at Newton High School. Every even before that, he the Adam walked the halls of middle school carrying a black briefcase, while most students lunch their belongings in backpacks. They stuck out said Tim 20 will, 20 will graduate with uh, Adam in 2010 it was different he said uh, Adam was a totally outcast but he didn't speak much everyone just assumed he was a smart kid that's why he didn't like talking to people all the time he hung out with the smart crowd And they said he was only lived in a devoted mother, Nancy, and devoted family in the house four bedroom, family's home bed bedroom third. Found it stay. Nancy divorced Adam's father back in two thousand eight. Divorced him in two thousand eight. Peter, now a vice president of Texas for E G E energy and finance service agreed to announce the payments. The couple had married 
on June 6, 1981 in Kingston. And Adam was born and they divorced Peter Zahar. And his lawyer said he was very upset that he was give, getting divorced but didn't want to take it out on anybody said like it felt kind of like I'm I put this story in there the story but it's like yes like my opinion is on like this I heard the stories about what this kid did that he was he's a smart kid he was kind of like a nerd smart kid he stayed to himself he didn't bother nobody and stuff like that. He lived in. They say he lived in a strict house. His mother was strict on him. Now you ought to know, like, like I said before, it's them quiet ones you need to watch out. <laughs> and uh, and this dude was. And it was sad because this dude was so quiet. They say he was a brainiac. That he was a brainiac. He didn't bother nobody. He lived in a strict house with his mother. And and she had all these guns in her house. They knew the boy wasn't wrapped tight. And know that he had mental problems. But why would you keep a lot of guns in a house around a person that's mental? That's what that makes you question things. Why would you have a lot of guns in the house around a mental kid that's like need to take bipolar medicine and stuff? They say that he, he woke up. They say he got up and shot his mother at home. His mother was a school teacher at the Sandy Hook Elementary School. And they say, well, today I heard earlier that I uh, got some little information from a complete stranger saying that the reason why he went to school, because he, he went to the school and had a disagreement, had an argument, something like that, and he didn't like it. So, because I question it, I still question it. I don't know if it's true or not what, that, that ha what happened, but I still question it. Why would you go to a school and kill 20 kids or seven or eight adults? and one of the adults being a principal of the school killing kids that between 5 to 7 years old that is the worst thing to hear man it's gotten so bad that it made a President Obama cry you could say oh Obama has no feeling but he cried over it But like I said, man, it's 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 just something. It's just something that this kid was wrapped so tight and he was so smart. That he went out and shot him. And then he killed himself in the school. He killed himself in the school. And and, and like I said, man, it's Because, like I said, when I did that Jacob Roberts video, I say both of them were, I say both the crimes, the Jacob Roberts case and this Hook, Hook, uh, Sandy Hook Elementary School case was done in the same week, a week before Christmas. 20 kids are dead. They will never see Christmas. They will know, never know what love is. They will know what being married is. They will never know what it's like to have something. And it, And and uh, they killed seven or eight adults that will never see their kids grow up. They'll never see the kids grow up, get married, have kids, and it's, and and, it, and it's and it's funny. The Jacob Roberts case in Oregon and this Sandy, I, I, I question it all in the same week. 
with distance apart. It's like I said in the last video, no matter which way you turn, you got to watch your bag because you don't know who's going to be, be in a place with a gun. You can be at the mall, Jacob Roberts store. You can be at the theater, that James Hone character. James Hogan character. You could be in school. This Adam Lizzy, uh, or what? Lindsay. Another Columbine. Another Little Run. This the worst one. Killing twenty little kids that had nothing to do with it. Poor little kids, man. It's it's sad. When I heard the news, man, I didn't want to watch it. I did not want to hear about this story. I did not want to hear the story, but. Because it broke my heart to see 20 kids getting killed before Christmas. 20 kids. And it makes you wonder, man, what you're sending your kids out there for. It's like, why even send your kids out in the world where they can get shot down quickly? That's all it is, too. It's just just ridiculous man like I don't really know the whole story I'm just getting bits of piece about it pieces about this story like hearing that like I don't know like I say if he was quiet and he was unstable don't you if, if I was his mother and I knew my child was unstable I would have took every gun I had in the house and just sold them or gave did something with them because one thing is I don't want to keep a child around this unstable around loaded weapons. And that's where that's where he got the guns from. He got his guns from his mother. Killed his mother went to, went to the elementary school and shot up some kids and, and some adults. I said this is happening every day. And people sit up there and complain about Obama. It's not Obama's fault, the reason why this dude snapped. So, y'all can sit up there and bitch, bitch complain about what Obama's doing, but it's not gonna fix this situation, this problem. It's, it's been happening every day. It's been happening since the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, since time, time, since the beginning of time. Even back in biblical days, there was kids getting killed to be sacrificed. Or kids getting killed over nothing. Over the years, man, and people now want to point the finger. That's what they people wanted to point the finger at Obama and the reason why he's doing it. No, it's not Obama's fault. It's 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 second, man. That could have been your child. That could have been your your son, your daughter, your niece, your nephew, your cousin, a friend's child. You just don't know. Life's too short to life is too short. Life is too short and this goes on. Like I said, man, if his mother knew that he had had a had had problems, issues, mental problems. Not mental problems, but uh, you know, chemical. And see, that's one thing. Some of the most intelligent people on this earth have nervous breakdowns. Look at uh, look at uh, 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 Albert Einstein. He had a nervous breakdown. He was tired. There was so many smart people in this world that have nervous breakdown. And this guy was in his twenties. He was in his 20s and he had a nervous breakdown. And killed 20 kids and, and probably 7 or 8 adults. So that's like 27, 28 people dead and gone because he was unstable. Like I said, I'm going to put the story in the description box. And. I just don't know no more, man, to to be honest about about people doing this, man. I really wasn't going to do these stories. I thought I was going to take a break from them. But 
it's coming down to it that it's happening right before Christmas, man. Them kids ain't going to know nothing. Ain't going to know nothing. They're going to be sit there in a box dead. And their parents is going to be miserable because of this incident. It makes you wonder why didn't he, why didn't his mom get this boy help? Why didn't he get why didn't she get this boy some help, man? Cause you know he was mentally unstable, small but mentally unstable. The boy could have probably made a bomb and blew everybody up. You just don't know. What's next? What's next on what's gonna happen? Is somebody going to a grocery store and start shooting up? Just never know. Just never know, man. Just never know. And like I said in the last video, if I'm missing out on some information, please do a re video response and just say Afro, here's some information that you didn't know, and just say the information instead of being this, instead of being evil ass and say you're a dumbass, you don't know what you're talking about. Just put it out there, man. Just say, hey, let me add this on Afro Joe. Add some information on this effort. Da, 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 there you go. You don't have to. You don't have to be evil about it. But you know what I mean. But follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel Celo Junior Two, Celo Junior Three. Follow me on Tumblr, and I'll put this story in the description box, man. Y'all holla at me. Peace, love. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays to everybody. Peace, love, and soul.